So my name is Danny Jongevaert. Um, I'm a plastic surgery resident uh, and a PhD student of Lenny Verkooyen. And um, I was involved, uh, just like Joanna van der Velde and Maarten de Burbach, in one of the, in the three uh, CMRCT cohorts in Utrecht. Um, I'm also the first author of the Stage Informed Consent paper, and um, that actually brought me back to why we were here two years ago. So two years ago, um, all these different groups of people who started to adopt the CMRCT design came together. Um, we didn't know each other in person, we only knew of each other, and it was so, so inspiring to, for us to be in the same room and uh, start learning from each other. So it's great that two years later, um, we have all these papers, as, all these different papers from different groups that are accepted into these really high impact journals, uh, nice journals, um, but also to see that, for instance, Linda's cohort, um, it was just an ID two years ago, and now you have uh, over a thousand patients in your cohort. And that's the same for us in Utrecht, um, but also to see Forbo, which was also just an ID that is actually starting to move forward. So instead of all these researchers coming together from their own islands, all of a sudden we're this united community of CMRCT or Twix. So I think we should be very proud of ourselves for what we've achieved, all of us, in the past couple of years. So now that we've um, achieved some basis for this design and people are starting to notice the design, journals are starting to uh, publish our papers, it's important to think about the future. So this session is a very open session, so feel free to pitch in at any time. We have a couple of speakers who will um, discuss some of the ongoing pro uh, problems they've encountered during the, the last couple of years, uh, and we're looking for your input to see uh, how we should move forward with these pro uh, problems, especially now that we're together with the CMRCT Twix community again. So the first speaker is Joanna, uh, someone whom I know very well. Um, when she started the cohort in a bone metastasis patients, the doctors were first, uh, weren't very eager to participate in the beginning because they felt this is the most fragile population in our hospital. Um, these patients won't participate in research, they're, they're too fragile for this. So in the beginning, um, we were thinking that maybe 60% of the patients were able to participate, but Joanna has shown that uh, the numbers are, are so, uh, so high that no one was expecting this. So now that we have this population who is showing us that doctors, won't, doctors weren't expecting them, participate, them to participate, but they themselves are showing that they are actually quite willing to participate. Um, now that we have this fragile population uh, participating in research, it's up to you to tell the audience what, you, what you've encountered and what current problems are in this population. So, Joanna, uh, I'll hand the mic to you and the floor is yours.